started it, I gave myself a cracking headache, which is about par for the course for me. So my uncle buggered off this morning, as he was supposed to, which is good. But he's left me with my bedroom to do. And he said, I have eight days. Huh. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I wasn't feeling great today, but we've done it, you know. I've scraped off all the horrible white rice pudding that was on both sides of this horrible beam. And then tomorrow my mum is going to sand it and, you know, give herself asthma with how much dust it's going to make. But I'm going to think about that. <laughs> anyway, that's what's happening tomorrow. Uh, this took me all day. Yeah, it really did. Um, but to be fair, I said I am not feeling well. Um, <laughs> we've had Celtic Energy around today. They've shoveled out the last of the grit in the garden. And then we had the big boss manager of Celtic Energy here today. And he has built the roof of the outbuilding. Um, basically, yeah, that building that's had no roof for like months now. Now has a sort of kind of roof. Uh, it was supposed to be tiled today. Except that big boss man and the supplies for the building the roof took too long to get here. So the lads that had just finished shoveling the ground were pulled off onto another job because they'd been hanging around here for an hour. Um, which, you, you know what, fair enough, fair enough. I understand that, being pulled off because they're waiting and they don't know how long they're waiting for. Um, it was just ironic because literally the minute they left was the minute Big Boss Man turned up. Uh, there's poetic irony in there somewhere, there really is. Anyway, so that happened. Um, apparently they're coming back tomorrow. Apparently, I just, everything's in inverted commas, commas now, you know. And they're going to put our kitchen back together, which, on the first hand, yay, we need the kitchen back together. I mean, yeah, excellent. On the other hand, shite, we haven't finished it. <laughs> so, since I'm dead, like, I've just spent all day, like, literally chiseling and I smashed the chisel into my hand twice. Like, a, like the idiot that I am. Oh, it bled so badly. Anyway, uh, basically, I, I was done for the day. So my mother has now gone downstairs and uh, and done the painting for me. So we can go see how well she's managed. <laughs> uh, and then I've got something else to show you guys, which is actually a little bit gross. But, but you know, we'll come to that in a minute. I'll, I'll give you warnings. <laughs> so my mum is in here. She wasn't here, she's disappeared. She's managed to paint that wall on all on her own. It's taken her about an hour. She's doing well. You're doing well, Mum. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, it looks good. Does that look too dark? No, it looks lovely. You're not beginning to look like a king. No? No, it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I've got paint on myself, so I can't come over there. Mm. I took a picture with my feet. Try your feet, bare feet on that, it's lovely, even without the heat coming in. I know, I've got my little socks on. <laughs> anyway, so that's what Mum's doing. Which wall have you got left? That one? This one. Yeah. I'm not going to do the side. I'm just going to do from here that way, because that's where they put the fridge freezer. You'll have to get that bit done though. Well, how long did that take me? Uh, about 30 minutes to an hour. That's an hour. No, you're doing good. He's been fed. Do not fall for it. Right, okay. Um, I need yeah. to stop at 8 o'clock. What time is it? Not 8 o'clock. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. Here's the gross thing. Uh, they brought the fridge in. And obviously the fridge has been off for months. And it was not emptied properly. So... Yeah. I don't really want to zoom in for it because it's... It's not good. It's not good. It smells like mould. It's covered in mould. Um, yeah. So tomorrow Mum's going to ask them to bring it back outside into this lovely area <laughs> with the lovely roof. And uh, it's basically going to power wash it <laughs> and then bring it back in. Which, yeah, you know, that's what power washes are for. So, uh, yeah, they've done their timber work today. He's obviously put up some kind of roof lining to go up. He's disconnected the sink 
pipe at the moment uh, that my uncle put in. It was a temporary pipe, so it's fine. The toilet pipe's still in. Um, but my uncle totally forgot to put the toilet and sink in before he left, so it's a moot point anyway. It's fine. Um, but yeah, th this is like the biggest movement that's happened today. And this is the drive. So, oh yeah, that's some of the stuff for the pump. We say some, we're some missing the actual pump itself, but you know. Uh, but yeah, this is... 20 tonnes, I think. Now, my uncle reckons we needed 30, but we've got 20. Uh, they finally filled that hole at the back in. Um, to be frankly honest, me and my mum were going to put some trees up here anyway, so we've got at least a couple tonnes of soil to go on. Um, but the majority of this is basically the driveway now. It's It's done. And it's really nice to walk on. So it's like, finally, we're getting somewhere, you know. It's happening <laughs> which is good because my uncle wanted me to send pictures nearly every single day of our progress i'm like ah. please stop demanding things of me <laughs> anyway yeah so a lot done today it's a bit of stressful work but it's a lot done today my mum as i said is sanding tomorrow um so she's gonna sand the beams i'm gonna oil them and then we're gonna paint my bedroom yay <laughs>